What's up guys, Strax here. Today I'm going to be bringing us another top 4 male triad outfit video using clothing glitches. So the first outfit I'm wearing right here will be the first outfit I'm going to show you how to make. For this outfit, I'm going to show you on how to get the black joggers first. So you're going to want to go ahead and just call your MOC. So pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to services, click on services, scroll down to mobile operation center, click on mobile operation center, and just request your MOC. After you request your MOC, go ahead and hit pause and you're gonna wanna go ahead and just wait for it to spawn on the map. Once it does spawn on the map, mine will spawn probably right here. Once your MOC does spawn on the map, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go to it. After your MOC does uh, spawn in, go ahead and go to the back of your MOC and you're gonna wanna go and start up the final job. So I'll just get back to you when I do get to my MOC. When you do get to the back of your MOC, you guys will wanna go ahead and first join a CEO or an MC. After you did join one of those, you guys will just want to go ahead and go to your mobile operation. When you are here at your mobile operations, just go ahead and log in. Scroll down and, and look for the work dispute job, and you're just going to want to go ahead and launch this job. If you guys have not unlocked these jobs, then you guys will have to do your bunker missions to unlock the work dispute. So once you get the work dispute job unlocked, then you can go ahead and just launch the job. After you do load in here, make sure you do set your difficulty to easy so then you guys have more lives. And after you did set your difficulty to easy, confirm your settings and just wait for a friend to help you out. I wouldn't do it with a random because those just random people will mess up the job for you. So just wait for a friend to join and you can just go ahead and launch the job. When you load it inside the plane, you guys should see that you guys are wearing the black jogger since you guys are the first player. Now you're just going to want to go to your apartment. You guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you're just going to have to remember where it's at. And I'll just get back to you when I do get to my apartment. Whenever you do get to your apartment, just grab a RPG or a sticky bomb, just any explosive, and you're going to want to go ahead and walk to the blue circle either at your apartment or at the house. Whenever you are here, uh, just walk into the blue circle and you're just going to want to blow yourself up. After you do blow yourself up, you, whenever you spawn in, you should be able to just walk inside your apartment. After you do get inside your apartment, you guys will just want to go ahead and go down to your closet area and just hit right on the d-pad to change your clothes. When you are here, scroll down to your accessories, click on accessories. Scroll on to gloves and just click on gloves and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you guys do choose a pair of gloves that you guys do want, you, you will now just want to hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on whichever slot that you guys want. And after you do save this outfit, you can now just back out of the clothing, clothing section and just pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. Once you are back in a public session, you should see that you guys are wearing the outfit with the black joggers. And now that you guys do have this outfit, you're just wanna, you're just gonna wanna go ahead, head to the clothing. When you do get to the clothing store, you already should be wearing the black joggers, but for this outfit, you're just gonna wanna go over here to your tops. When you do get to your tops, scroll down to sweaters. Whenever you do find sweaters, which will be right here on slot 39, click on sweaters, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and equip the black turtleneck, which is on slot 69. So after you do equip the black turtleneck, you can go ahead and back out of your tops. Since you guys are already wearing the black joggers, don't worry about the pants. Go ahead and go over here to the shoes. When you do get to the shoes, scroll down to sports shoes, which is on slot nine, click on sports shoes, and you're gonna be looking for the all white sports shoes, which are on slot 28. So after you do have the all white sports shoes, you can now back out of the shoes, head over here to the accessories. Once you do get to the accessories, scroll down to gloves, click on gloves, and go ahead and equip the white cotton gloves, which are on slot 53. Now, after you do have the white cotton gloves, you can now back out of the accessories. And if your character has any head accessories, go ahead and take that off your character. And one thing I did forget, so after you do take off your head accessories, go back over here to your tops. Once you do get to your tops, scroll down to utility vest, which is on slot 53. And you're gonna be looking for the peach plate carrier, which is normally right here on slot 43. So once you do find the peach plate carrier, go ahead and equip the peach plate carrier, and now you can go ahead and back out of your tops. And this is what your outfit should look like so far. After your outfit does look like this, you can now go ahead, go up to the front counter inside the clothing store, and you're just gonna wanna go ahead and save this outfit on slot one or slot 20. 
After you did save the outfit on slot 1 or slot 20, you can now back into your edit saved outfits and scroll down through the clothing until you do find heist coveralls, which is on slot 13. So just click on heist coveralls and scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12 and just select one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you do select one of these outfits, you can now back under the front counter and you're just going to want to go ahead and head to the pier so we can do the telescope. Once you are at the pier and you are near a telescope, just do the telescope glitch. So go ahead and run past the telescope, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character glitches where his mask does come off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to your outfit, and go ahead and select the outfit you just saved at the clothing store. After you do equip that outfit, you can now walk away from the telescope and you should see that the mask does combine with your outfit. And now this is what your outfit will look like with the toxic mask. Now you're just gonna wanna go ahead and head to any gun store. After you do get to the gun store, go ahead and walk over here to the clothing. Whenever you get over here to your tops, just hit edit saved outfits and you're going to want to go ahead and save this outfit on slot 1 or slot 20, whichever you saved it on before. After you save the outfit on one of the slots, you're now going to want to go ahead and start up the job, Titan of a Job. So just hit pause, scroll to online, hit jobs, play job, rockstar created, scroll down to missions, and after you do click on missions, just look for the job that's called a Titan of a Job and just start up that job. When you fully load into the Titan of a Job mission, you should see that you guys do have the outfit, but without the Peach Plate Carrier. So after your outfit looks like this, you can now go ahead, walk back over here to your tops, just hit edit saved outfits, and save this outfit again on slot 1 or slot 20, whichever you saved it on before. After you, after you did save the outfit, you can now just pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you are back in a public session, you can go ahead, walk back inside the gun store. Whenever you are back inside the gun store, walk over here to the right side of the clothing where it says outfits. When you are here, you're going to be looking for racing. So racing will be right here on, uh, on slot 36. So just go ahead and click on racing suits and you're going to be looking for, you can either use the red racing suit or you can use the white racing suit. It does matter. But after you do have one of those suits on, you're just going to want to go ahead and make sure you do buy that suit. After you do have this outfit equipped, you're now going to want to go ahead and head to your apartment so we can do the new merge glitch. When you do get to your apartment, you're going to want to go ahead and go into your heist planning board room. When you do get to your heist planning board room, go ahead and go up to your heist planning board. Once you do get up to your heist planning board, out of all the heist, go ahead and select the first one that's called the Flika job. After you do select the Flika job, the first job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called scope out. After you do the scope out mission, the second job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called uh, it's going to be called Karuma. So once you do get to the Karuma job, you're just going to want to go ahead and start up that job. After you started up the Karuma job, make sure your heist clothing is set to player saved outfits. After your heist clothing is set to player saved outfits, you can wait for a friend or a random to join. After someone does join, you can just launch the job. Once you did launch the job, it's going to bring you into your owned outfits. If you saved your outfit on slot 1, just scroll one time to the right. If you did save your outfit on slot 20, scroll one time to the left. And after you did that, this is what your outfit will look like. So now just go ahead and hit ready to play. When you do load in, you can now just go ahead, pull up your phone, and just leave the job from your phone. Once you do fully load back into a public session, you're going to want to go ahead and grab a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's a personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. Just go ahead and grab a car. After you do have a vehicle, go ahead and hop inside that car. Once you did get inside the car, pull up your interaction menu and just join a secure serve or you can just join a motorcycle club. After you do join one of those, you can now pull up your interaction menu up again. Click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club. Scroll down to management. Click on management. Scroll down to style. Click on style, and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left, and then just scroll one time to the right back to none, and now you can just hop out of your car. Once you do hop out of the car, you will see that the racing belt and the racing shoulder pads are transferred over to the black sweater, and this is what your outfit will look like so far. So now you're just going to want to go ahead and head to a clothing store so we can finish this outfit. So when you do get to the clothing store to finish off this outfit, you're going to want to go ahead and walk over here to your hats. When you do get to the hats, scroll down to bulletproof helmets, which is on slot 19. Click on bulletproof helmets and just equip the black bulletproof. After you do equip the black bulletproof, that's pretty much it for this outfit. So now you can go ahead, go up to the front counter, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. It doesn't matter. And after you did save this outfit, we can now go ahead and work on the second outfit. Okay guys, for the second outfit, when you are at the clothing store, you're going to want to just head over here to your tops. 
When you do get to your tops, scroll to Office Shirts, which is on slot 50, and you're going to be looking for the black Office Unbuttoned. After you do find the black Office Unbuttoned, which is on slot 17, go ahead and equip that top. After you do equip that top, you can now back out, scroll up to the tops until you do find Overcoats. Overcoats will be right here on slot 17. Click on Over and you're going to be looking for the black cashmere coat, which is on slot 51. After you do equip the black cashmere coat, now you're done with the top, so go ahead and back into the tops and head over here to the pants. When you do get to the pants, click on jeans, which is on the first slot, and you're going to be looking for the midnight camo fitted, which is on slot 41. After you do equip the midnight camo fitted, you can back out of the pants, head over here to the accessories. For the accessories, scroll down to gloves, go ahead and click on gloves, and buy the black woolen gloves, which are on slot 58. Once you do have the black woolen gloves, back out of the accessories, head over here to the shoes, scroll down to skate shoes, which is on slot 3, and go ahead and buy the all black skate shoes, which are on slot 16. And now after you do have the all black skate shoes, you can go ahead and back out, walk over here to your hats, scroll down to combat helmets, which is on slot 22, and go ahead and equip the black quad lens, which is on slot 45. After you do equip the black quad lens, you can now back out, and you're now going to want to go ahead and head to the mask store for this outfit. Once you are at the mask store, you can walk over here to the mask, go ahead and scroll down to ski mask, which is on slot 19, click on ski mask, and you're going to want to go ahead and buy the black tight ski, which is all the way on slot 114. So after you do equip that mask, your combat helmet and your mask, will sh and, your mask and helmet should already combine together. So now you're just going to want to go ahead and head to this clothing store right next to the strip club because I'm going to show you on how to transfer the flight tube over to this outfit. When you are at the clothing store, I forgot to say one thing. So for your body armor, just pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to inventory, scroll down to body armor, and scroll down to your show armor, and make sure you do set it to the standard armor. After you do set it to the standard armor, you can now go ahead and back out. And before we do save the outfit, if you guys want your uh, thermal goggles up, go ahead and hold right on your D-pad, just like this, and your thermal goggles will go up. And if you want them down, just go ahead and hold right on your D-pad again. So just save it on however you want it. After you do have your thermal goggles on however you want, go ahead and go up to the front counter and just save this outfit on whichever slot you want. After you did save this outfit, you can now back out of your edit saved outfits and scroll down to flight suits, which will be right here on slot nine. Click on flight suits and you're gonna wanna go and equip the black flight suit, which is on slot two. After you do equip the black fly suit, you can now go ahead and back out, and you're going to want to go ahead and just run across the street to the strip club. And when you are at the strip club, go ahead and just walk inside, and whenever you do walk inside the door, you'll see the flight tube just comes off your outfit. So pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, and go ahead and scroll down to your outfits, and go ahead and scroll to the outfit that you just saved at the clothing store. So go ahead and equip that outfit. So this is the outfit that you should have uh, just saved. After you do equip this outfit, you can now walk back outside the door and you'll see that the flight tube does transfer over to this outfit. So now go ahead and run back across the street inside the clothing store and just save this outfit again. Once you did save the outfit again, that's pretty much it and the flight tube is saved on this outfit. But if you do want the thermal goggles down or the quad lens uh, thermal goggles down, hold right on your D-pad so then the goggles will come down, the flight tube will come off. Just pull up your interaction menu up again, scroll down to style and scroll to the outfit uh, with the flight tube that we just saved. And after you do that, the flight tube will transfer over with the thermal goggles down. And then you can go ahead, go back up to the front counter and just save the outfit again. So it's just, you have to save it on whichever, uh, just however you want the thermal goggles, because if you have them up and you actually want them down, and if you didn't save them while your thermal goggles are down, if you switch back to your, uh, if you switch to a different outfit and then you switch back to this outfit with the thermal goggles, then you guys uh, will have your thermal goggles up with the flight tube. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for this outfit. So I hope that wasn't con too confusing, but yeah, let's just go ahead and move on to the third outfit. So this will be the third outfit I'm going to show you how to make. For this outfit, I'm going to show you on how to get the tan joggers first. For this, you will need to pull up your interaction menu and just join a CEO. So after you do join a CEO, 
pull up your interaction menu up again, click on Secure Serve CEO, scroll down to Management, click on Management, scroll down to Style, click on Style, and scroll through your CEO style until you do find Warlord. Once you do find Warlord, you'll see the outfit with the tan joggers. And after you do have this outfit, you're now just going to want to go ahead and keep finding a new session until you do load in with on before the Warlord. So you guys saw I had like a black sweater on. That's the outfit that I will have on whenever I do find a new session. But just letting you know, this could take a couple tries. If you do find a new session and you guys are still wearing the Warlord, keep finding a new session until you do have the outfit you had on before the Warlord. You guys will know what I'm talking about. So I'll just go back to you when I am wearing the outfit that I did have on before the Warlord. Once you do load back into a session, so lucky for me, it was on my first try. So whenever you do load back into a session with your outfit you had on before the Warlord, go ahead, run back inside the gun store, try to hurry as fast as you can, go up to the front counter and just hit right on the D-pad. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and set up the clothing menu just like this. And once you do kick, once you do get kicked out of the clothing menu, then you will see that you are still wearing the, or that you are wearing the Warlord outfit. When you do get kicked out of the front counter, it could take up to a few seconds all the way up to maybe a minute. I don't know. It just depends. It's kind of weird. But after you do get kicked out of the front counter, you will see that you are wearing the Warlord outfit. So once you do see that you're wearing the Warlord outfit, go ahead and just pull up your interaction menu and leave your CEO. And once you do leave your CEO, you'll see that you are still wearing the Warlord outfit. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you on how to make the outfit that I was wearing earlier with the tan joggers. So for this outfit, since you already are wearing the tan joggers, you can now just walk over here to your tops. Once you do get to your tops, go ahead and scroll down to sweaters, which will be right here on slot 39. So click on sweaters and you're going to be looking for the black combat sweater, which is on slot 93. After you do, after you are wearing the black combat sweater, you can now back out of your tops and walk over here to your shoes. Once you do get to the shoes, scroll down to skate shoes, which is on slot three and go ahead and equip the all black skate shoes, which are on slot 16. And after you have the all black skate shoes, go ahead and back up the shoes, head over here to the accessories. Once you are here at the accessories, scroll down to gloves, click on gloves, and look for the black driving gloves, which are on slot 62, and go ahead and equip those gloves on your character. Now you can go ahead and back up the accessories. And for this outfit, you'll just want to head over here to your head over here to your hats, scroll down to combat helmets, which is on slot 22. Uh, click on combat helmets and you're going to be looking for the brown quad lens which are on slot 43 after you do equip the after you do equip the brown quad lens you can now back out of the hats head over here to the glasses when you do get to the glasses scroll down to sports glasses click on sports glasses and you're going to be looking for the mono outlaw goggles which are on slot 13 so after you do have the mono outlaw goggles you can now back out of the glasses and for this outfit, you will want to go ahead and head to the mask store. When you do get to the mask store, walk over here to the mask. Go ahead and scroll down until you do find head scarf, head scarfs, which will be right here on slot 15. Click on head scarfs, and you're going to want to go ahead and buy the fall wrapped, which is on slot 36. So after you do equip the fall wrapped, you can now back out. The goggles and the helmet will come off. So now you're going to want to go ahead and head to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch. Once you are near a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch so you can go ahead and run past the telescope, hit right on the D. You'll see that your character's mask comes off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you do find the brown quad lens. After you find the brown quad lens, you can now walk away from the telescope. When you walk away from the telescope, you'll see that the that the fall wrapped mask and the helmet do combine. So now you're going to want to go ahead and do the telescope glitch again. Once you do hit the glitch, you'll see that your character's mask and helmet come off. Pull up your inter pull up your interaction menu up again. Scroll down to style. Scroll down to accessories. And scroll through your glasses until you do find the mono outlaw goggles. And when you do find the mono outlaw goggles, you can walk away from the telescope glitch again. And you'll see that the goggles, the mask, and the helmet do combine all together. And for the parachute, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to parachute. Uh, make sure your parachute is set to on, scroll down to bag, and make sure it's set to the black combat shoot bag. If you don't have the black combat shoot bag, you'll want to go ahead and go to the gun store, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, look for the black combat shoot bag, and just buy the black combat shoot bag. After you do buy the black combat shoot bag, you can just pull up your interaction menu, 
scroll down to style, scroll down to parachute, and you can find the black combat shoe bag and it should already be uh, set to your bag. You guys will just have to set it to on. And after that, that's pretty much it for this outfit. So now you can go ahead and go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And now we're gonna go ahead and work on the final outfit. Okay guys, this will be the final outfit that I'll show you how to make. So this is kind of like the Arson Y outfit. This just doesn't have the cuffs and this doesn't have the cop rank logo on the side of the shirt. So uh, the only way you guys can get that if you guys really wanna copy the Arson Y logo is I believe through the Beth glitch. So if you guys know how to do that, you guys can do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys on how to make this outfit. For this outfit, when you do get to the clothing store, go over here to your tops. Once you do get to your tops, scroll down until you do find the utility tops, which is going to be right here on slot 52. Click on utility tops, and you're going to want to go in and buy the black battle vest, which is on slot 34. After you do have the black battle vest equipped, go ahead and back out. Scroll down to utility vest, which is on slot 53, and you're going to be looking for the peach plate carrier, which is right here on slot 43. So go and equip the peach plate carrier. After you do equip the peach plate carrier, you can now back out of your tops and head over here to your pants. Once you do get to the pants, click on jeans, which is on slot one, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and buy the midnight camo fitted, which is on slot 41. After you do have the pants, go ahead and back out, head over here to the accessories. Once you are here at the accessories, scroll down to scarves, click on scarves, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and equip the black desert scarf, which is on slot two. So you guys, you may actually have to take off the, the utility vest first, so then you are able to equip the the scarf so i'm going to go ahead and take off the utility vest go back over here to the accessories scroll down to scarfs and yeah that's pretty much it you have to take off the utility top or the utility vest to put on the black desert scarf after you do uh take off the vest and then you put on the black desert scarf you can now back out walk over here to your tops scroll down to utility vest and then you can re-equip the the peach plate carrier which is going to be right here on slot 43 so equip the peach plate carrier back out walk back over here to the accessories scroll down to gloves go ahead and click on gloves and look for the black fingerless gloves which is on slot 56 and go ahead and equip those gloves on your character after you do that you can now back out of your accessories head over here to the shoes once you do get to the shoes scroll down to skate shoes which is on slot three and go ahead and buy the all black back side or the all black skate shoes which is on slot 16. After you do buy those shoes, you can now back out. If your character has any head accessories, go ahead and just take those off your character. So this is what your this is what your outfit should look like so far. After your outfit looks like this, go ahead, go back up to the front counter and just save this outfit on slot one or slot 20. Once you did save the outfit, you can now go ahead and back out of your edit saved outfits and scroll down to I believe it's going to, yeah, Heist Coveralls, which is going to be on slot 13. Click on Heist Coveralls and scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12 and just select one of these outfits with the Toxic Mask. After you do select one of these outfits, you can now back up on the front counter and you're going to want to go ahead and head to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch. When you are on the pier and you're near a telescope, just do the telescope glitch. So go and run past the telescope, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character's mask comes off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, and scroll down to the outfit you just saved at the clothing store. After you do equip that outfit, walk away from the telescope and you should see that the mask does combine with your outfit. So this is what your outfit will look like so far with the toxic mask. Now you're going to want to go ahead and head to a gun store so we can save this outfit. Once you are at a gun store, walk over here to the tops. When you are here at the tops, just hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on slot 1 or slot 20, whichever you saved it on before. After you do save it on slot 1 or slot 20, you can now back out and you're going to want to go and start the job that's called a titan of a job. So hit pause, scroll to online, hit jobs, play job, rockstar created, scroll down to missions, click on missions and look for the job that's called a titan of a job and just start up that job. Once you did fully load into the Titan of a Job mission, you'll see that your outfit uh, looks like this without the Peach Plate Carrier. So after your outfit looks like this, go back over here to your tops, hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit again on slot one or slot 20. After you did save your outfit, you can now back out, pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone.
When you do load back into a public session, go ahead and walk back inside the gun store. When you walk back inside the gun store, walk on to the right side of the clothing where it says outfits. Go ahead and click right on the D-pad and scroll down to the Diamond Casino Heist, which is on slot 50. And you're going to be looking for maintenance, which is on slot 18. So go ahead and click on maintenance. And you're going to want to go ahead and equip one of these outfits that does have the maintenance belt. So after you do click on or uh, equip one of these outfits that has the maintenance belt, you can now back out. And if you guys want to unlock these outfits, if you guys don't have them unlocked, you will have to do the Diamond Casino Heist while wearing this outfit. So that's the only way to unlock this. After you are wearing this outfit, you're now going to want to go ahead and head to your apartment so we can do the new merge glitch. Okay guys, once you do get to your apartment, you're going to want to go ahead and go into your heist planning boardroom. When you do get to your heist planning boardroom, go ahead and go up to the heist planning board. Once you are here at the heist planning board, out of all the heist, go ahead and select the first one that's called the Fleeka job. After you do select the Fleeka job, the first job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called scope out. So after you do finish the scope out mission, the second job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called Karuma. That's that's the one that we're going to be using for the merge glitch. So you're going to want to go ahead and start up the Karuma job. When you are in the Karuma job, make sure your heist clothing is set to player saved outfits. After your heist clothing is set to player saved outfits, you can confirm the settings and you can just wait for a random or a friend to join. After someone does join, then you can just launch the job. When you do load into here where it shows your outfits, if you did save your outfit on slot 1, scroll one time to the right. If you did save your outfit on slot 20, scroll one time to the left. And this is what your outfit will look like so far, so just go ahead and hit ready to play. When you fully load into the Karuma job, you can just pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. Once you are back in a public session, you're going to want to go ahead and grab a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. Once you do have a vehicle, go ahead and get inside that vehicle. Once you do get inside the car, pull up your interaction menu and just join a CEO or a motorcycle club. After you do join a CEO or a motorcycle club, pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club, scroll down to management, click on management, scroll down to style, click on style, and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left, and then scroll one time to the right back to none. After you do that, hop out of the car and you'll see that the outfit that you guys had saved has the belt on it now. So after your outfit looks like this, you're now gonna wanna go ahead and head to a clothing store. Once you do get to the clothing store, you're gonna wanna go ahead and head over here to the hats. Once you do get to the hats, scroll down to bulletproof helmets, which is on slot 19, click on bulletproof helmets, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and buy the black bulletproof. After you do have the black bulletproof, you can now back out, head over here to the glasses, once you do get to the glasses, scroll down to gun range glasses, click on gun range glasses, and you're going to want to go ahead and buy the Hornet guns, which is on slot 10. So make sure you do equip those glasses. After you do have those glasses, you're now going to want to go ahead and back out and head to the mask store for this outfit. When you did make it to the mask store, go ahead and scroll down to ski mask, which is on slot 19, and you're going to want to go ahead and equip the black tight ski, which is on slot 114. After you do equip that mask, your bulletproof helmet and mask will already combine. So now you're going to want to go ahead and head to your apartment or the pier so we can do the telescope glitch so, th so then we can combine the glasses with the mask and helmet. When you are at a telescope, either at your apartment or on the pier, go ahead and do the telescope glitch. So go ahead and run past the telescope, hit right on the D-pad, and you'll see that your character's mask and helmet come off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, scroll down to your glasses, and just scroll through your glasses until you do find the Hornet guns. And whenever you do find the Hornet guns, you can walk away from the telescope, and you should see that the glasses do combine with the mask and helmet. And that's pretty much it for this outfit. So if you guys actually want to add a parachute, which in my opinion, it's just up to whatever you like, this is what it looks like with a with the parachute. And if you guys don't want it with the parachute, this is what it looks like without a parachute. So it's just up to you on what you prefer. But yeah, so after you do have your outfit, you can now go ahead, go up to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And that's pretty much it for these four outfits. So I hope you guys did enjoy these outfit glitches. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.